Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You'll notice that Logitech G Hub has integrated Blue Voice into its software, which is really cool because now you can manage all of your Logitech gear and your Blue gear all in the same location. But first things first, we're gonna need to get this enabled so that you can play with some of the settings that I'm playing with right now. So I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you some of the settings that I use, and then we'll talk about some of the pros and cons that uh, this software provides you as a content creator. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to enable this. And so I'm going to go click on the little white arrow down on the bottom and I'm going to go find the speakers and I'm going to right click the speakers and hit open sound settings. Then I'm going to go to manage sound devices right in the middle and you'll see output devices and input devices. The Yeti classic microphone or whatever you're using Yeti mini, uh, it needs to be enabled on both input and output devices. Be careful doing this sometimes having more than one input or output device will mess with in-game settings that you are playing. So if you're having issues as a content creator with picking up any sort of audio from in-game or whatnot, this may be what is causing an issue. But in order to get access to these settings, you're gonna need to enable this for both. Okay, so now that I have Yeti Classic enabled uh, for output and input, you'll notice that the microphone I now have access to, okay? So I'm gonna click on the Yeti microphone in order to get started accessing all of these settings, you're going to enable Blue Voice. Before I enable Blue Voice and we go farther, if you would please comment below on would you rather my microphone be normal like it is now or would you rather it be broadcaster one setting here as we continue with YouTube? I need to know, but for the sake of the video, like I've got to continue with this sound the rest of the video so that we can play with some of the settings. But if you like the original sound better than this sound right here, please comment and blow and tell me so that I can just turn this off and we don't have to listen to this style of voice for the rest of the YouTube videos. Let's keep going here. So you'll notice that the blue voice presets here, uh, as I change them, your ears are probably perking because you're hearing the voice EQ do different things through your headset or through your television, wherever you're watching on, right? And there are a bunch of different like settings and or presets that you can just set to. And then as soon as you change some of the signal cleanup settings, you'll notice that uh, it will give you a custom preset. Okay, so I will show you my custom preset here, but what I personally preferred was Broadcaster 1, and then I went to Signal Cleanup. And when I went to Signal Cleanup, I changed it to some of my old settings uh, for noise reduction, noise gate, and compressor, but these really give you that crisp, clean, blue voice sound that a lot of you maybe didn't have these types of uh, filters set up on Streamlabs already. So. As soon as you're changing, you may notice that your voice just sounds so much better. But I have my noise reduction set to five decibels, gate set to negative 33 decibels, compressor set to negative 20. If you're wondering what these do, you can look at the question mark and it will give you a, a example on what it's doing to your voice. I did another video in my Twitch from one to 100 viewers series guide on quality and audio quality. So I'm not really gonna cover that content again. If you wanna go see what each one of these do in my descriptions, then I would say, go check out that video. Um, but these are my settings that I had set up right here and what I found to be my favorite settings. And you can test it by doing a recording right here as well as hitting a playback. For your sake, I am not going to do that in this video, okay? Continuing on, you'll notice that there are effects as well that you can set up in Blue Voice. And there are a ton of crazy different like voice mods and voice changer effects that you can do on Blue Voice. In-game chat just got a heck of a lot more distracting because as soon as you go to the Blue Voice effects and you change your voice, you'll notice that it just sounds you can see some of the voice effects have different customized settings as well. I haven't played with those too much. I really don't find many uses for these types of settings unless you're going hyper troll, uh, reverb, echo, stuff like that. I just really don't find extremely useful, but it is there if you're looking to get very customized. Uh, there is sampler settings as well. So if you have it set up and you want to hear different styles of voices, you can hear that through this as well. Hooray! Uh, but these are some of the settings that uh, I have seen on Blue Voice that 
um, have been really useful or you might find people using. Now for a quick pros and cons list before we get out of here. And I personally think that the pros do outweigh the cons. So let's get started here. One blue voice does exactly what it says it does. It gives you total voice control. There are so many settings that you can change. And if you're an expert at audio and already know what all of this stuff does once you're making adjustments, this is, is very helpful. It's very customizable. Second, the presets are awesome for amateurs. Literally, if you have no idea what you're doing, you can go pick a preset that an audio engineer has already set up for you and they just made your microphone sound a heck of a lot better. Uh, the audio signal cleanup is already set by default to some decent settings. Now you may tweak them here and there to get a better sound or a better compression uh, or whatever you need or whatever you desire, but I, I find that it's gonna clean up the people's microphones that had no idea that these types of things even existed. Uh, and the effects will save you $20 on the voice mod software for a lot of people that know that that existed and wanted uh, that voice mod software but have not spent the $20. You just save 20 bucks with this software. Now some of the cons, there's not as many preset sound effects as that voice mod software offers, which really isn't a big deal because I don't use voice mods anyways. I just choose not to use those. They just make my mic sound not really ideal, right? Um, but it, I noticed that this software did force uh, me to change one of my settings on my microphone. I had to actually turn the gain up. It felt like the microphone was cutting out my voice there for a little while. So I adjusted the gain on my microphone and I feel like I got my microphone back to settings that it originally was. So I don't know if this messed with the default setting in a very subtle way, but I did have to change my default settings just a little bit on my old voice in order to sound where it was before. So again, please comment below. Let me know if you think that this software is better with it enabled or disabled. Uh, maybe like or throw a sub on the video. If this is your first time through, we are pushing for YouTube uh, partner, which is 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subs. So if you're still here right now, you're a goat. I thank you for helping us with the 4,000 watch hours. Hopefully this guide has been useful to you and uh, we will see you in the next video. Take it easy.